Um, and so we're going to do a, um, a Tonglen. I add the word empathy because I think it's um, sort of the outcome of this practice. It's a, it, or maybe the input. It's a very empathetic practice. Um, Tonglen is a type of meditation where you know, typically in meditation, we inhale like calm and we exhale stress. We inhale peace and we exhale tension. We try to get that out of ourselves. The reason that this is an empathetic practice is that today we're going to inhale dark, maybe the pain of others. We're going to think that, channel that, and it is challenging to do that because we're resistant to it. We don't want to bring those things in. But then what we send back out is light and positivity. Sometimes when I do this practice, I might have someone in mind. And then what I send back out to them is almost like the thought of a hug reaching around them, um, embracing. And so um, we'll start out, you know, sort of thinking in that way, we might do things with a little bit of a reversal of breath where we inhale, where we might normally exhale, things like that. And then at the end, we'll do a guided meditation where I take you through a deeper sort of version of that Tonglen practice. Um, like I said, it is challenging and we have to sort of leave aside our assumptions in terms of how we're going to feel at the end. Um, I admit that this type of practice actually makes me feel really good and light at the end um, where we might think that it would be sort of depressing because it, it can be challenging while we're working. Um, so we'll start out as usual in a seated position and we will chant some ohms together, starting to shift our energy and come to a grounding stillness here in our practice. Uh, so first just exhale everything out. Inhale deeply. Um. Inhale, really feel the vibration. Oh. And one more. Go ahead and continue your slow, deep breaths. If you're using the playlist, now is a good time to start it. Long, deep inhales and long, deep exhales. And as you inhale, think of dark. Think of walls closing in, maybe even a a painful inhale. And as you exhale, send lightness, love out into the universe through your breath. Inhale deep, closing in darkness. And exhale, send light, openness, abundance out into the world. Even if you don't believe in the really taking it in and sending it out. Use that image as you inhale and as you exhale. Sometimes we set an intention for practice and you may have heard um, instructors offer the opportunity to dedicate a practice to somebody. And so I invite you now to think about a, a person or a group of people to dedicate this empathetic practice to direct your sort of positive energy towards that person or people this practice. We'll take two more rounds of breath here in stillness. Oh. 
And then we'll come into a tabletop position. Press into your hands, press into the tops of your feet and your shins, and then walk your knees an inch back to make the spine longer. Hug your low belly in, take a breath here. And then walk the knees a little bit closer. So we came an inch out, maybe come an extra inch in. We're sort of coming a little bit closer in towards the center. And as you inhale, take a cow pose, shift forward on your palms so that you're really leaning forward. Heart shining forward, then curl your spine, press back towards a child's pose. Inhale forward, cow pose. Pull all the way forward and then exhale, tuck your tailbone, press the mat away, cow, cat pose into a child's pose. So we'll inhale to cow, come all the way forward and exhale, cat, press all the way back. Inhale, cow, press forward. Exhale, cat, press back. Inhale, cow, press forward. Exhale, press it all the way back. Take three more, moving at the pace of your own breath. Really warming up the spine. Moving with the breath, feeling the sensation of the body here. And once you've moved through all three of those, re Reach the right arm forward, left leg back. Toes pointing down to the mat, arm reaching forward, heel pressing to the space behind you. Feel as though you're being torn, pulled in opposite directions, but keep the belly hugging up and in to support you. And then bring the elbow to the knee underneath you. Stay here a moment and breathe. Press the mat away with the left hand and the right shin and just hug everything up and in. Like a punch in the gut, we're kind of pulling in. Really lift through the spine, through the abdominal muscles, and then come back out. Curl in, nice and tight, and release it back out. Curl in, and release it back out. We'll do two more, curl, and extend. Curl and extend. Keep the leg lifted. Bring the right hand to the mat. We're going to do something a little funky. We're going to lift the left hand. So it's a little bit of a funny balance. You can kind of really lean over towards the right. And then we're going to kickstand the right leg kind of to the side. So now we're in a modified side plank. The right knee's down. We're going to take some crunches to the side. So again, hug everything, curl towards center. You can even lean the head and the chest forward and then reach out long. We'll take those again. Curl in and back out. Deep crunch. Two more. Then place the left foot down on the mat. Root into the outside edge of that foot and reach the right hand towards the front of the space. Get a really deep side bend. And we'll come back to our tabletop position. Root down into the right hand, reach the left long. Reach the right leg behind. Heel pushing away. Left hand reaching forward. Low belly pulls up. Support the low back. And then hug everything in towards center, stay here. Pull everything up, crunching, pulling in, lifting. Then reach back out. We'll do that again, curl in nice and tight and release it out. Curl in and back out, two more. And back out, last one. 
stay here with the leg lifted. Bring the left hand to the mat. We're going to lift the right hand up. Takes a little bit of extra work, a little balance. Then kick, stand the left leg back behind you. We're in a supported side plank. Take that deep crunch, elbow to knee, really fold forward. Hold, bring it in. And then release out long, crunch again. And inhale back out. Bring it in. And back out, we'll take two more. Last one. Then bring the right hand, right leg to foot to the mat. Seal the outside edge of the right foot. Reach the right hand forward. Nice side bend. Bring hand and knee back to the mat. Move through one more cow pose and cat pose. And then tuck the toes. Walk your hands in front. Downward facing dog. Paddle out your feet. Get a nice little calf stretch there. And then bring the feet as wide as the mat. And shift your hips all the way over to the right. And then to the left. And to the right. To the left. And come back to center. Come to stillness in your downward facing dog. And come back to your breath. Today we are inhaling darkness. Maybe you think of who you dedicated this practice to. It's okay if, it, if you have feelings at this time. Release positivity, light out into the world. Someone will surely receive it. And then start to walk your feet to the top of the mat. We'll stay here in a ragdoll pose. Feet are hips width apart, hands to opposite elbows. Take a nice deep sway side to side. And then bring hands to the mat, heel toe your feet together. And really slowly, I know we say this, but we're going to really slowly get that same feeling of curling up, pulling belly to spine as we lift, arms reach up overhead, and hands come to heart center. Full round of breath here. As we move through our sun A, we're going to reverse the breath. We typically inhale in positions that lift us up or open, and the exhale as we're coming down. We're gonna sort of reverse that a little bit. So with your hands here at heart center, inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna reach the arms up overhead. Inhale, swan dive down. And then exhale to a half lift. Bring your hands down to the mat, step back to high plank, pause here. Spread fingers wide, gaze is long, keep the neck nice and long, heels reaching back behind you, lift your quads, lift your belly. Get that same sensation as if you're sort of in a curl, even though you're not really curling the back like a cat back. Make sure you're connected to your breath. Then with your next inhale, lower down halfway or all the way chaturanga and then exhale as you press up to upward facing dogs. Pause here a moment, stay lifted. And then lift belly to spine. Tuck your toes down, we're facing dog. Inhale here and exhale. And then step to the top of the mat, starting to move with the breath. Inhale in your forward fold. Exhale to a half lift. Inhale, fold. Exhale, mountain pose. 
Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, reach high. Inhale, fold forward. Exhale, half lift. Inhale, step back, lower chaturanga. Exhale, up to upward facing dog. And then inhale to down dog. Exhale here. Inhale, top of the mat. Exhale, half lift. Inhale, fold. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Oh, I went, I, I already switched it. It's supposed to be exhale, halfway lift, and then inhale, release. Step back, chaturanga. Exhale, up dog. And inhale to down dog. Hard to do and hard to say. Step to the top of the mat. Exhale, half lift. Inhale, fold. Exhale, arms reach high. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, arms reach up. Inhale, fold. Exhale, half lift. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, up dog. Inhale, down dog. Exhale here. Inhale, top of the mat. Exhale, half lift. Inhale, fold. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, arms reach high. Inhale, fold. Exhale, half lift. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, up dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. Take this through two more times at the pace of your own breath. Moving one breath per movement, building heat. Once you're back in your downward facing dog, reconnect to your full rounds of breath. I think after class, I'll take an informal poll of who was able to stick with that sort of reverse breathing and who switched back to regular. It's hard. It's hard to sort of change your thinking, right? Um, from downward facing dog, we'll take a full round of breath. Inhale and exhale. Then bring your weight forward, bend your knees. And then as if you're jumping over a log, press into your palms, hop forward. Inhale to a halfway lift, exhale, fold. Rise, chair pose. You can keep the hips width apart if that's easier on your back or your knees. Rock your weight into your heels. Maybe you even lift your toes up off the mat. Low belly hugs in, arms reaching. Unclench your jaw if that's tight. Now come up onto the balls of your feet, lifting your heels. Then lower your hips, staying lifted. Maybe lower once more, feeling the challenge. It's okay to feel this and then send some lightness out into the world. One more breath here. It's okay if it's shaky. Heels come down, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to high plank, lower chaturanga. Up dog on the inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, right leg lifts on the inhale, toes pointing down to the mat, heel pressing away from you. And then draw knee to chest, hover and hold. Feel that crunch lifting up 
hugging everything in towards the center, pressing the mat away. Then reach the right leg back. Knee to chest and hover. And reach it back. Knee to chest and hover. Reach it back. This time, knee to chest. Step through. We'll come up to warrior one. Back foot points to the outside left edge of the room. Rise. Facing forward. But let the hips fall where they may. Don't try to torque them towards the front of the space. Maybe work the shoulders towards the front of the mat. For a little extra heat, you can press palms together overhead. Maybe your gaze follows. Wherever you are, make sure that you're firmly grounded into the outside edge of the left foot and then come deeper into the right knee. Airplane the arms, hover your torso, shoulder blades reaching towards one another. Then reaching the hands behind you, hug opposite elbows and come back up tall. Take a little back bend here, and then we're gonna come forward to a humble warrior. The hands aren't clasped, the elbows are just holding on to one another. Maybe the right shoulder presses into the right knee here. Let the head release down, but keep the legs strong, pushing down into the mat, thighs pulling in towards one another. Then come up, release the arms once more, warrior one. Hands to the mat, step back, chaturanga. Always the option to skip these and press right back to downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg reaches back. Toes point down towards the mat, heel pulling behind you. Knee to chest, hover and hold. Hug it up and in. Really pulling everything towards the center and then reach out long. Knee to chest and hover, and back out. Knee to chest, hover, back out long. Knee to chest, step through, rise, warrior one. Notice if one side feels different from the other. Send yourself a little empathy here. Rooting down into the outside edge of the right foot. Come deeper in the left knee, option to press palms together. Come forward, airplane arms, hover. Shoulder blades reaching towards one another. Keep the gaze out long. So you don't want to be looking straight down. Gaze nice and long. Hands come to opposite elbows, rise, take a little back bend and then come back down to a humble warrior inside the left knee. Press down into the feet to rise up. Warrior one, frame your front foot, step it back. Take your flow, always the option to press back to downward facing dog. We're gonna pick up the pace moving one breath per movement. Starting with our chair pose, travel to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, we'll pause here. Rise to the balls of the feet, heels are lifted. Hips sink lower. Lower the heels, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, exhale, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, right leg rises. Knee to chest, just once with strength and control. Bring it back out long. Step through warrior one. Inhale, up, rise. Exhale, airplane and hover. Join the el hands to elbows, come up. Bow forward, humble. Come back up, warrior one. Hands to the mat, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Knee to chest. Bring it back out. Step it through. Warrior one. 
Airplane the arms, clasp the hands to elbows, lift up, humble. Just a little adjustment of where your, where your direction is when you're going down. Come back up, warrior one, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane. Hands to elbows, rise. And back down, humble. Inhale, back up, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Knee to chest. Bring it back out. Step it through. Inhale to one. Exhale to airplane. Hands to elbows, lift up. Come forward, humble. Inhale to one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Move through once more at your own pace. Only back in a downward facing dog once you arrive. Three rounds of breath. From your downward facing dog, inhale the right leg high. Exhale, step it through. We're changing it up, coming up warrior two. Hips are open, rooting down into the outside edges of the feet, reach. So you think of warrior one, you're sort of closed to the front. Warrior two, you're wide open. Maybe you even slip your palms up towards the ceiling. Then straighten the front knee, press palms together and come back down warrior two. You can keep palms up towards the ceiling as you reverse your warrior. Stay deep in the right knee. And then cartwheel hands to the top of the mat. Stay in this low lunge. Walk the right foot a little bit out towards the right side of the mat. Hands come to the inside. We're going to stay here in this lunge with the option to bring both hands to the right um, ankle or to float the right arm underneath the right leg. Left hand out to the left. Think about that, that sort of cat back hugging up and in to keep you stable here. Then bring your left hand to the mat and reach the right arm open for a twist. Root into the feet, gain some stability here. Then press into the feet to lift up to a tall twist. Reverse it with the right hand coming to the left thigh, left hand reaching up and back. Then come towards center, crescent lunge. Frame your front foot, step back and take your flow. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, step through between your hands, coming up warrior two. Feel nice and rooted through the feet, open through the chest and through the hips. Come a little deeper in the right knee and flip the palms up towards the ceiling.
press into the feet, straighten the front knee, palms together, come back down warrior two. Reverse your warrior, left hand reaching up and back, create lots of space in the left side of the body. Then cartwheel, hands to the top of the mat. Pivot to the low lunge, walk the left foot out, come down nice and low. You can come to forearms or you can bring both hands to the left ankle or float the left hand underneath the left leg and right hand out to the right. Bring the right hand down to the mat. Left lifts up for a twist. Press down, pull the thighs towards one another. Use your core to lift you up to this tall twist. If you're still reaching forward, see if you can bring the torso back in space. And then reverse it, bring the left hand to the right thigh. Right hand reaches up and over. Come forward to a crescent lunge and then plant hands. Step back and take your flow. We'll move through this one breath per movement. On an inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, step through between your hands. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, press the front knee straight, come up. Inhale, back down. Exhale, reverse warrior. Remember I said the breathing might be funny. Bring the front foot, come into that low lunge, any version that works for you. Then inhale the left hand down to the mat and exhale the right arm reaches towards the ceiling. Inhale up, tall twist. Exhale to reverse. Inhale to crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat. Take your flow. Or press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two, palms are up. Inhale, straighten the front knee, palms together. Exhale back down. Inhale, reverse. Exhale to the top of the mat. Walk the left foot out. Come down to your low lunge. Inhale the right hand to the mat. Exhale the left hand high. Inhale up to a, your tall twist and exhale to reverse. Inhale crescent. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's connect our two flows. If you can remember the warrior one, don't worry, I'll guide you. I'm gonna start with that chair pose. Inhale here. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Pause here, lift the heels, sink the hips deeper. One more inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, chaturanga. Always the option to press right back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, back out long. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hover airplane arms. Hold the elbows, come back up. Exhale, humble. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Flip the palms up, inhale, straighten the front knee. Exhale, back down. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, frame the front foot. Take that low lunge, any version you like. Then inhale, left hand to the mat. Exhale, right arm lifts. Inhale, tall twist. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, hands to the mat. Take your flow. 
press back down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, back out long. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane the arms. Hold the elbows. Inhale, back up. Exhale, humble. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten the front knee, palms touch. Bring it back down. Reverse it. Hands frame the front foot. Take that low lunge, any version you like. Inhale, right hand to the mat. Exhale, left arm high. Inhale, high twist. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, hands to the mat. Take your flow or press back, downward facing dog. Bring knees wide, sink the hips down, take a child's pose. Come back to downward facing dog as you're ready. And once you're there, take a full round of breath. Inhale and exhale. Come to the top of the mat, half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale to chair pose. This time hands come to heart center. Hinge forward, twist to the right. Left elbow hooks on right knee. And then sink the hips a little bit deeper as you seek to twist a little bit deeper. Keep the crown of the head pulling long. Feel nice and low. Come back to chair pose. Arms come forward, palms up. We're gonna move to eagle pose. Left leg crosses over the right. Left arm crosses under the right. Stay low. There is no yoga pose that I can think of that is as closed and claustrophobic as eagle pose. What if you hinge forward a little bit, bring elbows to knee, crunch in, nice and slow and controlled, and then come back up. I'm gonna take it to something totally opposite. As you unwind, keep the right leg, the left leg lifted coming to half moon. Right hand reaches down, open up, send your light, send positivity, openness out into the world, moving from darkness to light. Keep the left leg lifted, bring the right hand down to the mat and then step the left toes back so you're in a low lunge. I'm gonna pivot to the left side of the mat. You'll find yourself in prasarita. Take a nice deep fold here. Come to a half lift flat back. Pivot the feet so that the heels are in and toes are out. Sink down, bend the knees. Then bring hands to opposite elbow or opposite shoulders, kind of giving yourself a hug. Come up with your cat back slowly to a goddess pose. Once you're here, maybe you close your eyes, gaze down. Come a little bit deeper and locate that breath. Inhale, dark and closed. And exhale, bright and open. Inhale, dark and closed. Exhale, light and open. Once more, inhale, dark and closed. And exhale, bright. And open, press into your feet, five-pointed star. 
pivot to the top of the mat, frame your front foot, step it back, take your flow or press back to downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale, top of the mat, half lift, inhale, exhale, fold, last one, chair pose. Hands to heart center, hinge forward, twist left. Right elbow on left knee. Hips sink nice and low, crown of the head pulls forward. Come back to chair pose. Moving to eagle, bring your hands out in front of you, palms up. Right leg crosses over, right arm crosses under. Sink the hips low. Feel that cat back. Maybe you even crunch down nice and controlled. Elbows to knees. Closed. Small. As you rise up, come out. Opening wide to half moon. Reaching strong in all directions. Right foot is flexed and pressing away. Right hand reaching towards the ceiling. Then bring the right hand down and step the right toes back. Pivot to face the side of the mat. Find your prasarita. Come up to a halfway lift. Heels in, toes out. Hands come to your shoulders. Feel that cat back as you slowly roll up into your goddess pose. Gaze down, holding tight. Eyes can close, come deeper than you think you can. Use your breath to keep you here knowing that you can take it in and you can send out positivity and light. Breathe in darkness and exhale light. Breathe in darkness, exhale light. Last one, inhale, exhale. Press into your feet, raise up five pointed star. Top of the mat, step back, take your flow or press back to downward facing dog. Once you're there, hinge forward, high plank. And to my count of five, lower five, four, three, two, one, bring your right cheek to the mat. Feel your breath and your heartbeat into the mat. We're going to take one belly down back bend, and I'm going to offer bow. If you prefer... A locust, feel free, go ahead and bend your knees, reach the arms back. If they don't touch, that's okay. This is called parachute pose. You can still lift arms and legs up off the mat. But if they do touch, bring your hands to your ankles and lift high. Stay here. Little bit longer. It's okay if it's shaky. Slow your breath and send light out into the world. Release it down, left cheek to the mat. And then bring your palms underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, lift up to high plank, 
And then just step forward, releasing down onto your back. And from here, we'll find a brief boat pose. We won't go the full minute today. Wanna to save a little time for our meditation. Hold here, belly hugs into the spine. And then slowly release down to your back. Once you're there, take a full body stretch. And hug your knees into your chest, find a happy baby. And then we'll take an inversion. So for candlestick pose, body is an L shape. Bring your hands underneath your low back to protect it. Feet are flexed, pressing up towards the ceiling. If you wanna come a little bit higher into shoulder stand, feel free, just make sure you keep your hands there to support your low back. And you can play with the direction of the feet until you feel that place where you start to really become light. We're gonna hold it here as long as it takes me to get my power cord, which should be like 30 seconds. Otherwise I'm gonna lose you guys. So stay here in your candles. If you're in a shoulder stand and want to come out through plow, you can bring the legs up and overhead and then slowly roll out onto the mat. And if you're in a candlestick, bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet down to the mat. Hug your knees into your, oops, hug your knees into your chest and let them fall over to the left side. Arms can come wide like a capital T. For the deepest stretch, you can gaze over the right shoulder. And come back to center, we'll take the legs over to the other side. Gaze over the left shoulder. Come back to center, bring the soles of your feet together. Arms can come up overhead in the same position or they can stay at your sides. And then bring the soles of your feet back to the mat, knees pointing up. And I invite you to the, for this meditation to come to a seated position. So typically we take our rest in Shavasana lying down, but for a more meditative practice, we wanna make sure that we're staying sort of focused. Meditation is a exercise of the mind, not just a rest, that sort of peaceful feeling is an outcome rather than sort of your input. So find a comfortable position where you can stay still through this meditation. And once you're here, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out through your mouth. Deep breath in. And out through your mouth. Breathe in. 
This time, seal the lips and slowly let the air out. Notice if you have any tension in your face. You can even bring fingertips to your jaw or your eyebrows. And then if your hands are on your knees, bring them back a little bit closer to the body, onto your thighs, to let your shoulders roll back. The work of meditation is in your mind, not necessarily in my words. So I'll provide some guidance, but then I will provide some space. Allow yourself some safety, some empathy towards your own, yourself to practice this type of meditation. And as you inhale, breathe in darkness, closure, almost a sense of pressing in, claustrophobic. And then as you exhale, open, like you're opening a window, sending out breeze and life and light. Inhale, dark, and exhale, light. Even if it's uncomfortable, allow yourself to take in the darkness and allow yourself to shed and share some light. Inhale, and exhale. Think of a person, an individual for whom right now you know there is pain and suffering. And when you inhale, take in that individual's pain and suffering. Feel it, hold it. And as you exhale, send them relief, send them joy. Inhale. Pain and exhale, healing. Inhale, suffering and exhale, relief. Inhale, discomfort and exhale, comfort. Start to expand your circle from one person to a small group of people, maybe a family or a neighborhood. Take in their darkness and send them healing. Take in their pain Send them your joy. Take in their suffering and send them your healing. Take in darkness. Send out light.
start to expand the circle. Expand it to a larger group of people, a community, maybe a state, maybe a population of people you know to be suffering and take in their darkness. Send them your light. Take in their difficulty and send them your ease. Take in their pain and send them your healing. Expand your circle, open it up to an entire country, maybe this one or another. This time we know they all need healing. Take in the darkness and send out your light. Take in the pain and send out your healing. Take in sadness and send out joy. Expand the circle. Expand the circle to the whole world. By taking in their pain, you do not have to keep it. And sending out your light, knowing that you still have more for yourself. Breathe in the darkness. And send out your light. Take in the pain and suffering and send out your love and healing. Wherever you are, clear your mind. Take a breath in and a breath out with only thinking about the breath in and the breath out. And do that once more. Inhale and exhale. Bring your palms to heart center. Rub the palms lightly on each other. Bringing yourself some physical sensation. And then hold the palms at heart center. Send yourself gratitude for practicing your own practice and sending out empathy and healing and light into the world today. Thank you for choosing yoga and sharing it with me. Hands to third eye center, bowing forward. Namaste.